In this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to create a new project. It's very simple actually, but I will explain uh, what a project really means and how to use it properly. So when you log into your Link Tracker dashboard, if you're a new user, you'll probably only see one project, which is a default project. But you can always add new projects by clicking on the Projects tab and clicking on Add New. So you can create an unlimited number of projects in uh, Link Tracker. And why would you need to create different projects? Why can't you just track everything in one single project? Okay, so um, projects are basically the most top level organization uh, for your Link Tracker account. And you probably can do with just one default project if you are tracking a handful of links. But if you are, say, managing campaigns and promotions for a client, or if you have multiple websites or multiple categories of products, then creating a new project will help you to uh, easily organize all your campaigns and also view reports by the project. So for example, if I have um, my own products, but I'm also promoting affiliate products, I may want to separate those two um, marketing activities into two different projects so that I can at any time see only the performance of affiliate products that I'm promoting. So in this case, I can create a new project. I can call it affiliate product promos and then I can select the currency. Okay, so you can select whatever currency you want, okay? For example, um, let's say I want to, to promote this for the local market and I'm in Malaysia. So my currency would be Ringgit Malaysia and I can look for Ringgit Malaysia or Malaysia Ringgit. Okay, and I can also modify the time zone. Okay, and be careful with this option though. Uh, I only recommend that you edit your time zone at the very early stages of creating your project. Uh, if you modify the time zone uh, once you already start collecting data, then there may be pockets of missing data or unrecorded data. Well, actually, it's not really unrecorded or missing. It's just that due to the changes in the time zone, some of the, some of the data may overlap or may uh, be incorrectly reported in the graph. So make sure that you select the correct time zone. Again, since this is a local marketing campaign, I would want to select something that is um, more according to the local time zone. Okay. And well, I can't really find it. Okay. Here it is. Okay. And next with a project, you can choose to use a different domain. So I can use a different domain for each project that I create. I can use some of the default ones already provided by Link Tracker, or I can create my own one. For example, cradle.com forward slash X. Now you can do this by adding a script onto your uh, hosting account and configuring it in the custom domains tab in Link Tracker. Or if you have a new domain that you are not using at the moment with any other platform or any other website, then you can dedicate that entire domain to Link Tracker using the C name options. I will explain more about domains in a separate video. Now, for each project, you can specify the uh, design of the viral bar. So the viral bar is only visible when you start to cloak your links. And this is a bar that appears uh, either on top or at the bottom. And it has some sharing options for your visitors to share that page to Facebook or Twitter or any other uh, social sharing options. So you can leave it as default or you can click on custom. And then here you can select the different themes. You can also enable to uh, use or hide certain type of social media buttons like Facebook send, Facebook like, etc. And for Twitter, you can configure uh, two accounts over here. And whenever your visitors share your affiliate link uh, to Twitter, we will also include these two accounts as mentions. And the rest of the options well, are basic and self-explanatory. 
okay and a disclosure policy now this used to be very a very sensitive topic if you're promoting affiliate links you may want to show a disclosure policy to state that you will earn some commissions uh, if someone actually buys a product from that page now this is visible uh, when you use the viral sharing bar okay or the viral bar but it's just one small icon at the very uh, left or the right of the bar so it's there just to safeguard yourself but it's not really highly visible to your visitors okay next for goals and conversions so um, in this version of link tracker we actually allow you to choose how you want us to recognize goals and conversions one of the big problems most people have when they try to track conversions is that they do not configure their con uh, their conversion codes correctly on their pages so there may be chances where the same visitor uh, after he has made a purchase may visit the same page twice now in all our platforms we have a thank you page where the visitor ends up after making a purchase but that page is only visible for the first time so if the visitor comes back again that page is no longer available it will simply redirect the uh, buyer to a different page or to the login page but most people don't have this they have a static thank you page so when visitors uh, come to that page twice uh, link tracker may record it as two conversions when it's actually just one conversion so you can click on custom here and you can choose to count all conversions or count only one conversion per goal type i will explain more about conversions uh, in a separate video and what you should modify here depend on what you uh, what you need or what you're looking to uh, track but in most cases it would be safe to assume that the default settings here are the ones that most people would use and also for duplicate handling so it, we have the option for you to ignore conversions with duplicate identifiers or count duplicate identifiers as a conversions again by default uh, this is set as ignore conversion with duplicate identifiers so we will ignore conversions if you specify an identifier or a reference number in your conversions if we don't specify any reference number we will still record it anyway again i will explain more about this in a separate video about goals next comes session and exclusion so this is really only for advanced users who really want to fine tune how link tracker tracks clicks and conversions again you can just leave this as default we have really really thought a lot about this and the default options are what most people need but you can click on custom just in case you're curious or you know just in case you think you know exactly what you're doing and the options here really allow you to change the very core or essence of how you would track how link tracker determines um, who is a new visitor or a returning visitor how link tracker tracks how many visits or how um, how long should our cookies last uh, when we are trying to track conversions for you so this is really heavy this is a uh, serious stuff which i think i should dedicate an entire video for this in the tutorial section but just let me give you an overview so you can change your session timeout cookie window and campaign timeout you can also exclude all known bots okay bots are basically computer programs like from search engines or from your email software that access your page uh, in the background to get some information about it for example to get uh, some information about the keywords or to analyze some contents of your page and these are not real visitors so by default i would recommend that you exclude all known bots in just in case this setting is not checked here you can click on exclude all known bots but by default we should have excluded all known bots you can also exclude some domains so if you don't want uh, to track clicks from your own blog uh, you don't want that to interfere with the reports you know because you just don't want to track that you can enter the domain names here separated by a comma so if it's domain sorry domain.com comma domain.net and that's how it looks like okay again you don't really need this because uh, if you put whatever you put here we will completely ignore it when we track so there will 
there will be uh, no record whatsoever of uh, any activity from the domains that you put here next comes excluded IPs you can if you are on a fixed IP address for example your your internet service provider in your office or home has a fixed IP address and you want to not include your own clicks you know whenever you test you don't want to include that in the reports you can also enter your IP address again this has a lot of consequences in your reports so I recommend that you just leave it as it is okay so next you can click on create project so your project is created and at any time when you want to erase everything in your project and start over you can click on clear all data all right so for example uh, let's say if you just want to do some testing and when you're satisfied with the results you want to start over from scratch you want to erase everything you can click on clear all data you can also delete this project and each project has its own API key. This is normally used for third-party applications, uh, integration with uh, third-party applications. Okay, so uh, the new project that you created should appear in the list here. And since recent projects uh, sort the projects by the uh, most recently used projects, you should see it right on top. Under all projects, it should appear in alphabetical order. Okay, so let's go back to main dashboard and the main dashboard also sorts by the most recently accessed or used project so there you have it and this is how you create new projects in link tracker